In today's video, you're going to see something that's going to blow your mind. Hello everybody and welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, then welcome. I really appreciate you being here today. If you've been to my channel before, then as always, welcome back. Thank you so much for the comments that you leave for me, for your thumbs up, for you subscribing to my channel, and also remember to hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Today, you're gonna to meet a gentleman. His name is Roy. I recently met Roy and he mentioned to me that he and his friend have an industrial unit where they store some car stuff and he's got a collection of oil cans. He invited me to take a look. Of course, I couldn't resist. I went along and what I saw blew my mind and it will yours. You probably already gathered from the thumbnail what you're about to see, but I couldn't believe it. Roy's wife calls it his sandbox where he goes to play and you can see why. Roy has everything you can imagine there. It is incredible. He has some beautiful cars in there for sure. But in addition to that, he's got bicycles, tricycles, oil cans, scales, keychains, car stuff galore, as well as beer cans. You name it and he's collected it. So without further ado, let's hop in, let's go for a drive and let's check out this incredible sand. Show me what you've got here. Okay, well, welcome. <laughs> welcome to what my wife refers to as the sandbox, the, where the boys go to play. Oh my God. We had, this is not a business. We have no business. This is just a hobby shop. And this is yours? It's mine and I have a partner in it. We own this, this unit. We purchased it in 1989. So we've had it for over 30 years. Roy, when we talked the other day and you said, you will be surprised, I am shocked. Yes. <laughs> I did not know what to expect. I honestly thought, okay, he's probably got one car sitting there and that's that, we'll call it a day. But oh my God, Roy. No. I don't even know where to look, like everything here. Yeah, there's, well. Good Lord. You've collected all these things over... Over the years, over... How many years? 40 years, maybe. My God. And Look at this. And we're different things where they, they caught our eye. No particular reason for a lot of it. We decided at one time that we, we should have a couple of scales, so we ended up <laughs> and we restored them. There's, what, oh, one, wow. two, three, four, five here. And there's a couple underneath here. And oh, wait some a minute, more. wait a minute. I, I do have to kind of move this out the way and pay a little respect to our queen that is no longer with us, sadly. Right. How about that? This is probably a collector's piece right there. It is, yeah. My lord. But that was for the Silver Jubilee. My lord. Yeah. Wow. And I am, and I don't mind admitting a royalist. Very so. good. Roy, I, I just don't know what to say. There's, uh, there's. Uh, oh my God, let, let me just digest this all for a minute. We, wow. We went in different directions of things. For a while we said, okay, we, right. these are name plates off of equipment because myself and, and my partner, Don, we both worked on construction. So <laughs> a lot of these are construction off of equipment. 
nameplates. And, and then you've got some car... Cards. Card... Well, they're trucks? They're all trucks, are they not? Yeah, they're all trucks. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. And there's several of them. I just made up these different boards years ago with pegboard and then put a frame around them. I, I just, I'm trying to avoid looking at these cars too for a minute because uh, they're just taking my breath away for a minute. Let me focus on the wall for a second. So direct my gaze back here. So these yes. are more cars, that's from a uh, that's, truck, that's right? That's trucks truck again, related. yeah. Good God. And everything that you see here, like signs that are hanging, every sign that we have that's available to be lit up yes. can be lit up. All I have to do My is God. turn the switches on and plug them in. Look at this place. And tools, we have probably more tools than if you, if, well, you can't see. If you you do the, have the odd tool there. So if I, if for, I'm look for, looking for something, for I know tool. where to come. If oh you're looking gosh. for tools. You have it all? We have it all. Roy, what, what is this? It's like some That's an bomb? edger. That's, oh, really? That's an edger for a lawn edger. Yes. And I, I've, well, for the want of a better word, restored it. Good for you. But this is an old oil can. Oh, it's priceless. Here, there are over a thousand oil cans, over 800 at least different ones. Here's an unusual piece. Yes. What that's that? uh, that's a, a lawnmower, but it's for for a graveyard for doing around gravestones. Oh, get out. Seriously? Yes. And if you look, it has it has these guards on both sides yes. so that the the grass clippings didn't go up against the stone, the headstones. <laughs> when I saw it at a at a flea market, I didn't know what it was. I'd never seen one before. It is definitely unique. And I uh, restored it. Sort of. It was in such good condition, and what I did was, was just tape off the original decals on it, yes. and then painted around it, and got new hoses and what have you. This is the the air suction for it. Amazing. So, but I'd never seen one before. It was just something I saw it had to have it. <laughs> okay. Let, let me let me go around one side. We'll come down the other, and then I got to talk to you about these beauties, Roy. These cars are gorgeous. All right, look at all this stuff. Again, more signage. Is that a, a like actually? Does that work even? No, it it's decorative now. Decorative. But now. it was the real thing. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And you have a thing about oil cans. Yes. These, if you see, every one is different. We have over eight hundred different. My God. Oil cans. I am These so light impressed. <laughs> oh, Labatt. My wife used to work for Labatt <laughs> back in the day. How about that? Incredible. What is this? It's a jukebox. Oh, wow. This, is, this one is, is a Rockola. There's another one up the front, a Seaberg. Ha! Huh. I recognize some of these tracks. Yeah. I love the band heart, and it's right there. Isn't that beautiful? And you got little toys in there too. Oh, yeah. And these beer taps, there's, <laughs> there's over, there's some more you'll see. Look at I, this one, Stoneham. Never even heard of that one before. There's over 200 beer taps, different ones. So you are a little bit of a collector of sorts. Collector right? of Whatever sorts. If you look, there's some eye. old crosscut saws, there's some big rat traps up there hay fork and uh, different wooden pulleys. My lord. Fire trucks. Just. I'll oh, we got more lights. There we go. Look at that. Roy, I am just in awe. Fire trucks. And this is all Studebaker products. Wow. What a lot of people didn't realize at one time Studebaker owned STP. I never knew that. And that was... Well, okay. Yeah. If you look... If you, if you look here, there you are. Yeah, STP owned Studebaker. What does STP stand for? Scientifically tested products. 
Okay, that is a great trivia question to ask somebody one day, yes. and I will bring that up. Wow. But these two, you know, gas, yeah. gas treatment, the Studebaker product. My God. And you've got, oh, I love the old beer taps there, too. Beer taps there. There's beer Beautiful. <laughs> taps everywhere. Even Christ Christmas lights, which are, which are Beck's <laughs> beer. I love it. Oh, the old British Petroleum's up there, too. It's got to have yeah, that in. BP, yeah. Good God. Oh, um, oh, is that Eaton sign I spotted? Yes. Yeah, oh, remember this is those? Eaton sign. That was one of the last ones. Mother Parker's. I remember Mother Parker's. Yeah, Mother Parker's tea and coffee, yeah. There's wow. stop signed, uh, the Cumsy dealer signed. Oh, I got to ask you, the, the stop sign there, Roy, did, did you just happen to fall off the, the post there? Or <laughs> what's, what's the story on that one? I got that. That one actually came from Quebec a year, many years ago because it has a ret on top yeah. and stop underneath. Very cool. Which now in Quebec is only a ret. A ret, yes. And New Brunswick which is the only official bilingual province, okay. has stop on the top and a ret underneath. There we go. So there you go. <laughs> Wonderful. Look at this collection. This, uh, yeah, oil cans again. And every one is different. And what's back there, Roy? Is this your little no. place to get? Oh, there's more. There's <gasps> more. Oh, for crying Here, out there's, loud. There's lighters. Oh, God, Roy. Like, what the hell? There's, there's. A couple of hundred lighters, all different ones. In there and in there, and also in that one. Good God, man. In Over there. 40 years you've do, been doing if this. You, oh, look at this cash register. Yeah, which works. Get out of here. Oh, oh you're just teasing me now. Oh, there we go. That's the sound I expected. So, so we're... It was in tough shape, and we took it all apart, restored it. Oh, wow. Put a new bottom in the drawer, took this all apart, and cleaned it all up inside. Wow, look at the mechanics of it all. Yeah. This must weigh a ton. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. More oil cans, and if you look, that whole Kendall, everyone is different graphics. So do it? you continually look for stuff? I still look. I try try not to look anymore because we run out of space. You, run, you need a bigger space. Look at all these keychains too. Yeah, oh keychains and if you look up here, there's beer tops. <laughs> More beer. There and there. There's all, Actually, and the, there. the way you've displayed it even takes a bit of talent right there. Well, like you have to be ingenious almost to, <laughs> to figure out how do I show this now. And everything, oh even all these little, oh, min little miniatures. Oh, uh, yeah. Every one that, that can light oh up, my is God. A, everyone is hooked up. I can, that uh, the other one there, oh, so I can. I can. beautiful. I gotta love the Canadian tire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Priceless. Yeah. Hey, you know what, just, are you able to open this again, the cash register? Yeah. Is that Canadian tire money in there? No, but I have, there well, is there some. Is, there is some, yes. Yeah, I have, that? I have a bunch of them. <laughs> you have a collection of that. Actually, what don't you collect? Well, you know, <laughs> Good fuses. God. These are, well, all different <sighs> toys. Oh, we, my God, Roy. This is... Who, who's this young uh, fellow over here? He's part security guard. Oh, part security, okay. Yeah, tough thing. guy. He's a tough guy, yeah. That I'd cabinet back there is entirely Canadian tire products wow. and all the different colors and logos that they used over the years. But wow. everything in there is Canadian tire. I really think Canadian tire should be sponsoring my videos because the number of times I come across them, their products, like right. everybody uses Canadian Tire. Heck, yeah. And I've always believed if Canadian Tire doesn't sell it, you don't need it. That's, so yeah. it's, <laughs> oh, I love it. My Lord. These are all Mac. Beautiful. That's Shake, Rattle and Roll. That was a, a rock and roll 
it's show out west and it's all signed to Roy. <laughs> it's the coasters, wow. Bobby Cartola, Buddy Knox, and the platters. My God. Oh, I like that license plate too, by the way. The Vegas one right there. That, huh. that, that, I can give that to a number of people I can think of. Well, that but... was given to me and made it special <laughs> from a friend of mine. Really? God, God bless her. She's still, she has Alzheimer's now. She's, she's these are all touch oh, up yes. Studebaker. Lovely. Touch up. I have a different one in here. Oh my God, there's more. This is the office. That's Roy. every one of those oil cans and oilers. Oops. Everyone is different. I remember oil cans like this. Yeah. Oh my. Magnificent. I am lost for words, Roy. Truly. Now, this a place lot of is these paradise. brass ones came from the UK because when I every time I was over there I go to swap meets and I What are these parts? Those are grease guns. Oh right. Yeah. Wow, look at the quality of the workmanship, too. Those are fire extinguishers, all these brass ones here. My God, Roy, I haven't seen uh, tire repair kits on bicycles like this in years. Huh. Incredible. Look at all this. That, oh, you got more beer stuff More here, beer tap. That blowtorch yes. I brought was the biggest one I've ever seen, right above your head. This one here? Yes. I got that, that in the UK. My wife was... She said, Roy, you can't take that back. I said, why not? Nobody's ever seen one that big before. Wow. But that was used in the shipyards for, they used to hang it on the plate to heat up the rivets when they were built shipbuilding. Oh, and which, that's why you need so much uh, volume of, uh, of, of heat. Wow. Yeah. And the thing next to it this, is, this one, yeah. is a like trench a... warmer. And that worked off gasoline. Wow. And you, um, you manually wound it, which blew the air through that bottom tube, you right see, there. and you lit yes. the gasoline, and that was to heat the trenches up during the war. My gosh. It almost reminds me of one of those sirens, like, you know, during yeah. the air raid yeah. sirens and all those kinds It of is. Things. It makes a noise like that, too. It is noisy. Oh, God. Look at all this stuff. There's I love it, Roy. <laughs> they're all different types of spark plugs. Okay, Roy, I got to ask you a question then. Of, of all the things that you've collected, what what's the thing that you've... No, that's not even the right question. What, what thing you've collected is perhaps like the most important to you? Maybe that's a fairer question because you've got a little bit of everything here. Yeah. What means the most to you? If you had to sort of rank it, the top one, two or three. That's a difficult question. Mm -hmm. Like everything here is like so unique it, and it beautiful. It really is. Think I mean, about we, it though. We, I don't need yeah. an answer straight away. But we wow. have, these are old. Outboard motors? Outboard motors. That's a Johnson, 1928. <laughs> that's a Clinton. That's a Neptune. And that's a Viking, I think. Yes, it is. It's a Viking. Yeah. Oh my God, Roy. Meccano. I grew up car. with this stuff. Yeah. It got me interested in engineering and everything else. Yes. Oh, you've got some beautiful toys back I there, I can, too. just a second, I can light some of this stuff up. <laughs> it, they're just beautiful. I love this thing. That it was, just caught my eye. That was, that was uh, put out by Snap-on. It came as, as you see it, except didn't have the cars. I put the cars in. Wow. It's like a little diorama. Uh, there's so, a so diorama. They, they would use it for advertising at, and everything Yeah, else. at the time... I think it was like, it was very expensive. It was around $250. Back in the day, yeah. Which was f expensive. Oh my God, you even have shaving stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. There's something which is on you, the thing of keys, just different types of keys. Roy. Like, okay, let, between yourself and your friend. Yeah. Who, who, would you, who would you say is more of the collector or both of you like equally say, oh, this is different. We should start collecting this. Like, Me. how does that even happen? It's you. Yeah. So you're the instigator. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah, there's all small things in there. It's beautiful. I am so impressed. This is nice, too. Radio, yeah. Marconi. 
It works. This is a butter churn, and that's a butter churn. And this is a drill for when you were, when they were building barns, you sat on it, and you could put that at any angle to drill a hole to, for wow. the, to, so that, to drive the pegs in to hold the beams together. <laughs> Roy, this is, uh, this is something else. This is a coffee grinder that it's missing the funnel on the top where yeah, you put the right. beans yes, in. Yes, exactly. And it was sort of go, right. go down the little yeah. chute part there. Beer, some <laughs> more oh, beer like tips. That. Yeah. Look at it. These are off of boats. And every one of these is a radio. All these, all these cans, even this, <laughs> even That's this. That's a radio? Yeah. You know. Oh, my. But uh, I don't know. Yes, it's doing something. Uh, most of the, the reception in here is not inside the building. It's not good. But how cool is that? I've never. There you go. You caught something. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Priceless. And, and you have another diorama uh, over here. And even oh, this, where, this. Is a spark plug? <laughs> oh my God. So, so but cool. But these are oranges, everything. These, these are all, radios. every one of these batteries are all radios. Even here, paint can is radio. They're all that. radios. Another jukebox, that's a Seaberg. Oh, and you have a little small collection of pipes. Uh, you're that still was, adding to that this or what? That was mine. No, that was, that was yours. Back some I had wow. laying around the house. Do you still smoke a pipe? No, I don't. I haven't smoked in 20 odd years. Okay. This is all Texaco products. <laughs> Everything in this cabinet pretty well is Texaco. Beautiful. I like this little diorama thing again. This, yeah, it's tin. That's... It is too, yes. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful too. Look at that. All there again, Texaco products. That particular air compressor came from Camelton, New Brunswick. How, how did you get it from there? Well, like, I was, were you there? I was there working. I, for six, the last six years I worked, I worked in New Brunswick. What did you do, Roy? I was the district manager for BFI, Brown Garbage Company. Okay. So, so you got to travel a little bit within Canada, oh, U.S. Oh, as yeah. well? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So through your travels, you could sort of spot a few things along the way and say, oh, yes. that might look nice. When my wife used to pick me up on a Friday at the airport, she said, Air Canada will let you fly without boxes. <laughs> I was always bringing, Just so you know, right? Yes. You don't have to home. bring stuff back every yeah. time. Wow, look at all this, Roy. Hey, what's this? A curling game? Curling game. Yeah, that was, that was put out by, <laughs> by uh, White Rose. And there's there's all the, oh, all the bits and pieces. There's all the rocks oh, for it. Oh wow! May I? Yeah. That's something else. Yeah. Beautiful. The rocks and the instructions on how to play it. This parking meter was given to me by a friend of mine. Oh, 40, 40 50 years ago. Uh, it was given to you, or like if I this, was yes. to sort of check the, yes. the city of Toronto. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, well, like, this is from. Montreal, Montreal, and you know it's okay. old because all it takes is dimes. Ah, back in the day. It yes. only takes dimes. <laughs> it won't get you that far these days, will it? No. Look at all these, these are all special. Anytime Canadian Tire put out a special tool, we bought them. <laughs> oh. They're gold-plated. Yes, look at that. They've even got the Canadian Tire. Oh, a Mastercraft right there, yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, fantastic, Roy. Hey, what's this? That's just a, a model of an engine lift, a toy. No, this, uh, like, what looks like a Geiger counter almost. Oh. What is, the, what is that thing? That's a tester for, I'm not sure what that one is, but it's, it's an electronic tester. But you we know what gets me, Roy? I'm just looking at the workmanship on, oh, yes. on even the, the case. We have, the we have one here somewhere for testing lightning rods for on barns and what wow. have you. This Just is what wow. everyone needs. And this is actual wooden spoke from wooden, an Essex car? An Essex, yeah. Wow. And that's a wooden steering wheel off a boat, which has, <laughs> the, you'll see there's, there's a, a rod on it. 
and you just yes, turn it, that. and that would turn, which had cables going to the rudder at the back. Oh, look at the design of that. I see it yeah. now, yes. Yeah. So it converts like a vertical motion to a yeah. horizontal. Yeah. How about that? Beautiful. <laughs> and you might... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to start and stop here. Like, good God. And we're running out of room. You are. You guys are on the ceilings now. On the ceiling. <laughs> My God, Roy. Okay. Oh, look at this. That's lovely right there. Yeah. An M&M &M clock. Yeah. My God. That's a white truck ashtray. That's extremely rare. An unusual piece that I've had probably for 50 years. Horner's. And I got this. Most people haven't a clue what it is, no, is for testing no mouth, mouth organ. So Hygienic, so you don't have to shove it in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen such a thing. That's the only one I've con that I've ever seen. And Why? I bought it or got it get, uh, at an auction sale over 50 years ago. It's funny because when I was trying to find you here and I called your wife, she just started giggling, thinking that, oh, you're going to be surprised when you see it. And it's like, oh, my God, I know what she means. This is, this is a lightning rod tester. Oh, it is, yes. Yes, sir. Look at that. And the bulb, this is you call you test bulb. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. It is, really. There's nothing new when you think of it. Like it brings back memories when you see some of this stuff. It's like see, there's another wow. different Studebaker touch-up, a different year. Good God! Look at all this, Roy. Then you, of course. <laughs> How fantastic! And those more tin garages there, a couple. See those? Yes. Those hey, same as the one. Is this front. one of these? Um, what do you call these? Tuck tuck boats or whatever yes, it is. Yeah, you put a little candle, little candle or something. inside. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this this kind of yeah. I remember. I, I actually saw one years ago when I went to India, right. and they were ha had these, and I'd never seen one before. And it's like, whoa, that is the coolest thing. I, yeah. I even bought one, but I don't know where it is. I wish I'd kept it now. <laughs> My God. Oh, magnificent, Roy. And you've got every nut and bolt here, too. Yeah, we've got quite a few. <laughs> and there's more around nuts and bolts on the back on the side. Oh, yes, yes, you've got quite yeah. a collection here. More than Canadian tires sometimes. Yeah. Wow. And there's more odds and sods there. Oh, I like this old radio as well. Yeah, that's another one. It works. <laughs> Fantastic. Look at these toys. This is a Crosley engine, and you know Crosleys were built from about 47 to 54. They used to use them in racing until, right up until the 60s when, uh, for midget racing, when General Motors came out with a four-cylinder engine. Right. But this was what they used, was a Crosley. This is a drill press? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's automatic drill press. As you see, this when you wind it, it'll it'll go down. See? My gosh. And then when 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 you're finished and you want to raise it, you just flip that up and then do it this way, and that raises you it back raise up. actually it. Wow. Very impressive. And uh, what you have stuff in the toilet? I shouldn't let. Uh, I'll take you in, <laughs> into the ladies. All right. See, ladies. Oh, it does say ladies, yes. yes okay. That, right. that so came, I, I will avert my eyes in case. That came from a garage in St. Stephen, New Brunswick. Ladies and gents, the gents. Or on the other side, okay. But uh, we Look make use this. of all the wall space. <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh, I like that. The old British Leyland. Yes. My God, Roy. And as you see, <laughs> All different bottles, even Coke bottles. These are Coke bottles and what have you. Lovely. I think these cups should be in the, the men's washroom, don't you? But I'm just yeah. saying. Wow, look at this. Where yeah. was this? Roadkill Cafe. Yes, look at the menu. <laughs> 
Oh my God, that's lovely. R rigor mortis tortoise. Wow. Brack of raccoon. <laughs> Smear a deer. Awesome. Oh, awesome. I love it. Yeah. Fantastic. Wow, Roy. You you have quite the little collection here. Before I even want to look at the I love I like this telephone. Yeah. Amazing. Fantastic. See, it was converted. That's from uh, Montreal, no? Five one four. Yeah. And what do you have in the men's well, washroom? You got more? Well, <laughs> oh, not yes, really, you do. but we still yes. have stuff in here. But that's an old fireplace that I redid. And, and what it does when I plug it in, it's got light bulbs underneath and it has a fan that goes oh, around wow. and makes it look like it's flickering. That's fantastic. Yeah. My God. I love it. Whatever happened to White Rose? White Rose was. I don't know, it became super test, I think. They oh, were taken it? over anyway. Yeah, I'm having a tough time avoid looking at your cars here. Go in, the, yeah, there's more oil cans, more oh, uh, outboard motors. I love your uh, pop dispenser there. You got yeah. your Coke, Coca-Cola, Fanta. This is that one of those grabbing toys? That's what it is, yeah. Oh, wow. But it's an early one, only takes an echo, and you have to do it manually, <laughs> wind that. But it swings around and grabs Fantastic. something. <laughs> there again. Oh, my gosh. They're Canadian Tire, I forget how many years they've been putting out. A, they put out a vehicle every year. We've got every, that's, <laughs> that's the first one. Wow. And the latest one is down here. We have. Every, every year. year, every year, they're all. My goodness. Canadian Tire. That is so impressive, Roy. And Sears did some too. And of course, those are Wicks. Wicks did a bunch. Roy, I just noticed you got stairs going up there. What's up there? Uh, not a great deal, mostly empty boxes. But you, got, you got the odd bicycle there. That bicycle. I, I, was, I got it from a friend of mine, and my wife was, wanted it for the garden. Oh, to, uh, to make a little planter out of it. Yeah, and uh, what happened was I looked at it, and I thought, boy, that's in pretty good shape. Then I started to take, uh, strip the paint off and yes. saw the original colors, which was burgundy and uh, white cream. So I very carefully stripped the paint off it, found the original design, and what I did was measure it, where, where the arrows may I, on may it. May I go up there to have a look? Sh sure, be, okay. be careful, that's I all. I will, all right. I can. Uh... Wow. Oh, this is a great view of everything here, too. Oh, yeah. This is a child seat? It is, isn't it, Roy? Yes, it's I bought that <laughs> in, in the UK years ago at a boot sale for one pound. And then when I restored that bike, I thought, well, I wonder if that I had it hanging on the wall and it fits proper. <laughs> oh my gosh. Perfectly. Does it so I put it on. The saddle is recovered in original genuine leather. <laughs> it's beautiful. And I mine it's but it's just been it's sitting here i'm looking after it for now whose is it it's a friend of mine that moved out west the car it's a one owner car it's a 1969 amx american motors wow 390 four speed it's original never been touched it's original paint this is it hey original interior no, no reconditioning, no nothing. No. Oh, yeah, it's the old patina right it's there. Got, yeah, and there's a couple of rust holes here. Yep. Wow. That's, and that's, you know, original rust holes. Fantastic. So you're babysitting her. Yeah. A it's nice, uh, dry place. It's a friend of mine. He wants me to restore it. I, it sat in his garage for 31 years. 
My gosh. And then he sold his house and he moved out west and he asked me if I would store it for him. So I cleaned it up. It was piled, piled high with wood and you name it, whatever you put in your garage, all you could see was the grill. I have photographs of it. And you found this and, inside and we all that. Dragged it out. Right. Because the wheels were locked up on it. So I got them free, then brought it up here. And I actually had I've had it running. Good for you. I got it started, put new plugs in it. And okay, let's let's move to this little what it a Lambretta? A, what is a what do you call it? The Vespa. It's a Vespa. This belonged to one of my, my best friends who passed away a year ago in June. On, on my birthday, so oh. he, he, the rascal, he did that so that I wouldn't forget him. You wouldn't forget him, for sure. And uh, his family wanted me to have it. It's beautiful. Cause, because that was his, and they th thought that I should have it. What so. year is this, though? I think it's a 2002. Yeah, like it's got a digital gauge as well, yeah. right? So, yeah. wow. Oh, it runs like a charm. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, they're lovely, lovely little yeah. bikes. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. 1958 Edsel, Pacer convertible. She's gorgeous. It's, uh, yeah, she's got a few dings and dongs on her now, but she was painted in 1978. This one is yours, right? Yes, that's mine, yeah. I never realized how long they are. Well, it's got a Continental kit on it, which gives it an extra 18 inches. My God, boy. She's absolutely stunning. Look at the lines on this car. Yeah, if you, there you are. We can see from the other wow. side. It's probably better because it's got the push button transmission in the. Does it? Oh yes, it, yes. On the, the uh, I stay on the seat, on the steering there. Look at this car. This is just the car cover, which is. Oh, I love it. Yes, you're right. 18 inches, maybe even a little bit longer. Yeah. Wow. This is a car. Yeah. Do you, how often do you take her out? Probably a couple, two or three times a year. If you want to go, go ahead, yes. Go up here, I'll. My God, Roy. I love this, the color as well. It's like that creamy white. Yes, ah. yeah. See, and look at the push transmission. Button. And if you look at, at the um, speedometer, <laughs> it rotates. Beautiful. Yeah. Everything, and the original radio. Yes, oh yeah. And I so, have. So, so cool. At home, and I haven't installed it, but I have a record player for this that goes under the dash that you, can, record player? that you can play 45s. My God, look at that. Why did they stop making the Edsel Roy? It just didn't sell. It only, it's they made beautiful. It, it came out at the wrong time. So, so unfortunate. Look at the detail, even on the side mirror there. Yeah, if you look at the back, it's got the, the Edsel sign on there. But the design of it, Roy, yeah. it's excess. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Oh my God. She's beautiful would this have had air conditioning and all those things back in the day you could have but the air conditioning was went under the dash with hung under the dash and how long have you had this car uh, probably 25 or 30 years she's fantastic this one. my god Roy. Really. Look at the detail, even the tail lights on this thing. Yeah, yeah, this. It's something else. I just. It's huge. Trunk is. <laughs> yeah, a couple of dead bodies in there at yeah, least, right? Yeah, chairs and new oh tire, God. spare tire, cover. Roy, you have to promise me something. When you take her out next, yeah. I'd love to do a video and I want to sit in it just to see what it's like. Go ahead, sit in it. No, when we're driving. Oh. <laughs> Tell me about this Lark. Wow. 1960 Studebaker Lark. I love the color, Roy. Original color, yeah. 1960. Fantastic. 
The interior was totally redone by Alpha Auto Trim. Where and are they? On Hensel Street. Okay. But it just did a magnificent, all new door panels, he made them. But it's all the original, and I had the original material, so. Wow. And it's sort of like a, a fabric, uh, fabric leather mix? Yeah. Two-door hardtop. Beautiful. Original radio as well, Roy? Yes. Yeah. But hey, what's that little chromey thing on the uh, passenger side? That's the uh, Kleenex dispenser. No way. Yeah. How fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful. V8 automatic, 259. You know what this reminds me of? The Humber Scepter yeah. back in the UK. Yes, yeah. It has a similar body style to this. And I used to love that car. Oh, wow. A V8 in this bad boy. Yeah. 259. My God. Fantastic. Uh, larks, I love these larks, especially V8s. Go like Beautiful. stink. Beautiful, yes. They go like the devil. This is 259. Later, they came with a 289. And this one is yours as well? Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Just stunning. And what do you have here? That's a 67 Firebird Pontiac convertible that my partner, Don Hope, his mother, bought this car new. No. It just turned 50,000 miles on it. That's original so it's interior. Been in Don's family. Since the day Since it came off the lot. It was bought new at Old Mill Pontiac. Still got the bill of sale for it. Traded, traded in a 1966 Caprice on it. Wow, look at that this car. interior is totally original, never been touched. Hey, that radio is pretty damn advanced for back in the day. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's not the original radio. Okay, so that, that's one of those retro yeah. aftermarket-y things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love it. It and is. And this has got a what? A 320? Well, it, originally it was a 326, but this now has a 455 in it. <laughs> so this is Don's doing, is this it? This is Don's doing, okay. yeah. Okay. I think we can forgive him for that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This thing's a rocket. Yeah. How often does Don take her out? <laughs> Not bro. It hasn't been out of here in two years. Really? So. But we just put a brand new battery in it, so okay. he was supposed to take it out last week, and he didn't. Okay. But, but it, it will be. What's in there? Well, that's not mine. It's exactly what it says. <sighs> GT40. Good God. It belongs to a friend of mine, and, or ours, and we've been storing it for him, so. Well, if, if he ever decides to take her out, I, I would love to see it. There's less, and it's oh painted gosh. the, the uh, original colors, which was the, the golf oh, colors, wow. which was $10,000 extra. So it's like the Florida job. blue kind of, what is that? Blue and orange, yeah. 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 Oh, my gosh. There's less than, Beautiful. There's not, less than a thousand miles on it. And... The little red girl at the front here. Look at this car. That's a 1963 Studebaker Avanti. It's mine, and I've owned it 50 years. Just over 50 years now. Roy, I'm in love with this car. Look at it. It is one of the most unique looking vehicles I've seen in a long, long time. It is when you think, you know, I mean, that design, it, it was actually came off, it was built in October 1962 was when it was wow. assembled. It's got this look of an Italian sports car to it somehow. Yeah. Designed by Raymond Louis. Beautiful machine. Original color, Roy? No. It's it was painted? originally gold, this car, when I got it. Wow. And I didn't like the gold and I changed the, the color. Look at the mirrors. Yes. That in itself is art right there. Stratoview, they called that mirror, the style. 
Roy, she's stunning. Look at the rear glass, like yeah. everything about her. How often do you get her out? Well, she's been out, oh, two or three times a year anyway. Okay, Roy, yes. you, you can't be teasing me like this. And you're, you're sort of, you take these beauties out. I now expect a phone call. I'm going to have a word with your wife directly, I think. Just bypass you completely. Look at this thing. Good God, man. Look at the controls. It's very aircraft-like. Yeah, if you look up, you'll see where all the switches are for the lights. Oh my, yes. Yeah, and that was, the, the thing was the aircraft design. The levers, everything about it. Even the dials are something different. Yeah. I, I like how they kind of wrap a little bit too. Yes. So, so fantastic. Original radio, right? Yeah, that's a radio. No, is that the original? Oh, yes, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And the, the motor on this thing? It's, it's a 289, but it has a racing ca a cam in it. It was, but Studebaker, of course. I love how it opens like this. <sighs> that's all original. All that's chrome is exactly as it came from the factory. See, that, that's impressive right there. They didn't have to do it like that, but they did. Yeah. And the fact that they did. Studebaker is, wow. And I'm Im so impressed. And the only thing that was really odd was this battery. Yeah, And it I is. had a problem finding that. Well, can't you get it from our local Canadian tire there, right? No. And it's a slimline design almost, right? Yeah, and that, that was used in farm, farm tractors and, oh, and wow. uh, industrial machinery. So what happened was, after they'd built a few of these, they decided to change that, and they, they changed the, the inner fender that would take a regular standard size battery rather than this one. Good God, just beautiful. This is a very early model. Of this, uh, this is number 190. And so how many were made? Of there these? were only 4,700 built in two years. Oh my yeah. God. So this is a real collector's piece right yeah. here. Yeah. There is something about this car, Roy. I, I look at it and it reminds me of a couple of British cars, like the Reliant Scimitar, oh, uh, yeah. Jensen, uh, not the Jensen Healy, but there was a Jensen well, you were model. Thinking, you were thinking maybe the Interceptor. Which yes, had the, with the yeah. Interceptor, exactly. Jensen right? Interceptor. Like the, I see design elements from so many other cars here. Yeah. You know what's really cool? Can you put down the, uh, the hood again? Is this just the way this is all, only on the driver's side, like not yeah. down the center, Yeah. but that is beautiful. Roy, this place is incredible. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. As I said, when you told me about your little, you know, you got a couple of cars in there and you've got some some cans of oil or whatever else. This is not what I expected. This is just amazing. And you've got the odd bicycle. Oh my God, I didn't even spot that. You've got a pram here too. A pram and a tricycle, a scooter, lobster trap. Wow. Is that a Raleigh? Yeah. It looks like it, yeah. yes. This one is an Italian. I bought that at a yard sale for $2, and then I cleaned it all up. And I this thought, bicycle? This one here, yeah. Wow. Italian <laughs> racing bike. And this, I love it. This other one here, which, which is just virtually brand new. It was some gentleman bought some American motor parts off me, AMC. Uh -huh. And uh, probably a year later, he showed up here. He said, Roy, would you like this bicycle? And I said, sure. He said, it was my sister's bike, and I had it on eBay. And they, he, he said, there were so many idiots trying to get it for nothing. Yeah. He said, I'd rather give it to someone that I know will appreciate it Absolutely. Than, than sell it. And, and I cleaned it all up, and, shut, and then, there it is. Amazing. And it is virtually like new. I love it. Yeah. Roy, what do I say? Let me thank you. This has been a trip down memory lane for me. Like to see 
your little collection between yourself and Roy, things that you've sort of accumulated over the years, things that mean something to you, but you've done it with elegance and style and everything is like, wow. There's a wow factor to everything. Yes, well, you know. I sincerely want to thank you, Roy. Like this is really a gold mine of little things that you've got going, your little collection, things that mean something to you and to, to your partner yeah. there. And it's, it's so cool. So thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for showing. Anytime. <laughs>